Hello parents, uh, today's topic is on is virtual autism and autism separate or are they to be seen as subcategory of the same definition? Uh, if they are separate, why is that not everybody is accepting on this line? So this topic needs to be considered or understood with an open mind. The answer to this question is actually yes and no both at the same time. So let me explain why I am saying yes first. So are they separate? Definitely they are separate. Uh, the changes which we are seeing in the kids nowadays who are exposed to very high screen time. So by guidelines the screen time below 2 years has to be zero. But maybe we don't even find uh, any single kid in today's generation that has not been exposed to TV or mobile or iPad even for an hour in a day. So this is a lifestyle change that we have seen and over the last decade this has exponentially it has gone high and especially post covid or during the covid time it has doubled almost like four or five times the screen time exposure. The reasons could be many families are becoming more nuclear, your work styles of parents are highly demanding, the work schedules are very demanding, both of them are working in almost uh, 70 to 80 percent of the households both are working and uh, then uh, the these restrictions uh, due to outdoor play or outdoor interaction has come due to covid and uh, other these things so everything has contributed a little bit but we have seen that there is an exponential rise in the screen time and with the screen time has come a lot of changes in the kids behavior and speech nowadays so the changes are seen at all levels even the teenagers are having uh, problems with focusing, problem with uh, their emotional regulation who are exposed to this high screen time. Even in the adults we are becoming very absent minded and very easily triggered, emotionally triggered etc. But here the problem is even the speech of the child is getting very much delayed. And once the child's speech gets delayed there is no form of communication so most of the behavior issues are also getting increased. And now this phenomenon has been observed world over, not only in one particular part of the world. Everywhere they have observed these changes and few of the researchers or the uh, people who are in this field have studied in detail what is exactly happening to the child's brain and very interesting fact they have found that both these children and the children with classical autism are almost behaving the same way. They also have same kind of poor name call response, poor eye contact, isolated play, lot of sensory issues, uh, not responding to your commands, uh, repetitive behaviors, everything. But once the screen time is taken off or made zero and a very good playful environment is introduced and also maybe therapies have also been introduced in the form of early intervention and their outdoor exposure has been increased and their social interaction they have tried to increase then they have very interestingly observed that the changes are actually reversing very very fast which cannot be explained if they have an underlying classical autism because in a classical autism child these changes would come there would be improvements definitely with all the above said things but the changes cannot be so fast and so quick that the child will outgrow the diagnosis within few months. This can never happen in a classical autism child. So here we are seeing these virtual autism kids who are almost coming back to normalcy within few months. So this has been noted in many places and the person first who has uh, demo I mean, uh, documented this was Marius Zamfir and after that many places in the world also have documented this so definitely there is something called virtual autism there is no doubt in this but now why are we saying no also so yes i have explained that they are different now why am i saying no so but anything to be uh, officially accepted as a diagnosis what i mean by officially is like on paper if you can give the diagnosis as uh, virtual autism only then we can say that it is an officially accepted diagnosis so at present we cannot do that because any medical diagnosis to be accepted has to follow certain guidelines and these guidelines will be laid down by the experts in that corresponding fields and these guidelines will be subjected to scrutiny and observation over a period of time and changes do occur in them like for the guidelines for autism are called the DSM-5 guidelines which we are following right now the last change has occurred around 9 to 10 years back 
so changes do occur in these criteria but it will take time after a long observation and study only any changes will be uh, incorporated in the newer guidelines and only from then we can use the terminologies uh, as different like for example in the autism criteria there was a subcategorization of asperger's pdd nos etc till about 9 to 10 years back but now they have removed all these subcategorizations and they have included everything as autism and a few kind of uh, autistic symptoms but not fully fitting into autism they have separated as a social pragmatic disorder so these changes did come over a period of time so similarly maybe down the lane virtual autism may also become a subcategorization in autism but as of today if we were to write a diagnosis on paper from a professional point of view we have to write as autism only so this is from the professional uh, angle of it but uh, how does it make a uh, impact on the parent now we have to see things from parental angle also because out of all the people who suffer the most after giving the diagnosis of autism is the parent because child is happily unaware of what is his problem so now what is actually happening is uh, will it make a difference to the parent if it is virtual autism or autism is the second question it makes a huge lot of difference so if a parent is correctly counsel that this child has deviated from normalcy because of poor social interaction or poor environmental stimulation and we have a very high chance of returning back to normalcy with early intervention and also home modification the amount of confidence the parent has is very high but at the same time if we say no everything is autism whether it has occurred due to poor environmental stimulation or not this is autism then immediately the parent goes off into a mode of depression which is bound to happen with any autism case because autism is like a like an uh, how can i say it's like a uh, such a huge threat to a parent's mind the moment they listen to the world uh, word autism it is almost equivalent to something like a cancer in a adult so my child is he autistic is he suffering from autism and from there stems all the anxiety and confusion and then googling and they get into all these sorts of uh, unnecessary things and they search for unnecessary remedies etc and in this whole thing the child will be at loss because we are saying early intervention and home in interaction is the best a way of training this child but at the same time when the ch mother or father is panicking in this way with autism diagnosis they cannot reach out to the child uh, in in even so now what to do should we say everybody is virtual autism like everybody who watch tv and had autism symptoms are virtual autism definitely not there are only a subset of kids who show definite signs of only virtual autism because when you observe their play pattern and the observe the way with which they are uh, uh, connecting when you are showing them fun activities etc they behave quite positively whereas in a very classical autism kids they do not show that much of response to activities immediately so there is a group which can be very classically labeled as autism at the onset and there is a group which can be labeled or at least uh, we can give that hope to the parents that this looks mostly like virtual autism and there is always a group who, which is in between these two there are few features of that there are few features of this also so now what to do with them so still the benefit of doubt can go to the child and the parent you can say that there could be some genetic basis for autism in this child why only this child got affected due to screen time but anyway we cannot change the genetics so let's change the environment and see what happens in the next 6 months to 1 year let's take all possible intervention early intervention behavior therapy good social interaction home modifications play schools everything whatever possible let's do and be quite hopeful what happens in the next 6 months to 1 year if they are not showing most of the signs they showed and they are reverting to normalcy everyone is happy and then retrospectively this diagnosis of virtual autism is almost like confirmed but if not and they have traits still positive after one year also then the slowly the parent is going to digest the diagnosis of autism so this is from the parental angle that i am discussing this and the other two angles to this is will the child it will be different 
not really because whether it is virtual autism or autism the therapies are going to be the same they are going to be directed towards his behavior towards his sensory issues if occupational therapy is necessary they will add it and all that so not much of a change as per uh, whether interventions are going to be different with the diagnosis it is only the prognosis which is going to be different and from the fourth angle of it from the therapist angle uh, it is a bit dicey because see once a therapist commits that this is a virtual autism looks like the parent puts immense amount of pressure on the therapist to show the result because you are the one who have shown that this is a virtual autism so why are the not the changes coming very quickly so most of them wouldn't want to really uh, you know make a diff uh, distinction between th these two diagnoses and most are comfortable with saying these are autistic spectrum disorder and coming to the fourth or fifth angle to it is what happens in the community at large this is also very important so nowadays we are seeing like out of every hundred cases which are coming for with social uh, behavior or speech problems at least 60 to 70 percent are due to poor environmental stimulation they could be some 20 to 30 percent who have genuinely the um, classic autism kind of thing so now what happens is the parents uh, whether they are virtual or classical autism they will resort to a lot of other medication or supplements or packages or homeo treatments or many other things in addition to the therapies which are evidence based so this is because with the hope that maybe that might work it might work for somebody else let us try there is no harm there is no side effects there could be n number of reasons to it but parents are definitely going to try so many other things and now what is happening is these virtual autism kids are going to improve really fast and now they have might have used so many other things they might have tried different diets they might have tried different supplements and packages now it is giving a false kind of propaganda that he has improved or she has improved because of those things and now everyone will be running after these kind of things see if they are element or a multivitamin that's not a problem but if they are something like hugely costly or they are going to have certain side effects or they are going to say that do not take any therapies use only our products then it is going to be very detrimental now the parents cannot choose between them because people are saying that it has worked and they have literally seen the results the other kid who never had speech six months back is talking very well so parents go into this hope that maybe really this is working so distinguishing between virtual autism and classical autism at the onset itself uh, sometimes will help in better counseling of the uh, parents so that they know that what has caused the change in this child and they will not resort to this false propaganda of any other products uh, so this is about quackery etc which is go ongoing nowadays uh, in autism or virtual autism cases so this topic is very uh, like debatable definitely so even at a professional level also there will be lots of debates going on whether we should call it virtual autism or not but uh, in this whole uh, discussion my point is a parent uh, if we can make them less stress free by clearly stating that this could be virtual autism in few cases where it is very clear we are actually going to help the child much better in cases where we are not in very very sure of the diagnosis we will discuss with them in detail and in some cases where the autism diagnosis is very very clear from the uh, onset we can counsel the parents slowly in a way that they understand and in them also we should be saying that environment has a huge impact so let's change the environment and to the best benefit of the child so i hope this video was uh, useful to you in understanding why we are not labeling virtual autism as a separate diagnosis such uh, videos on behavioral problems in kids you can subscribe to our channel we'll keep in touch